Majorca Cycling Center Academy, Wojciech Beran's School of Cycling. Training blog. Carbohydrates, lipids, and protein in the cyclist's eating habits. A well-fueled body provides the necessary foundation for any serious sport activity. In today's episode of Majorca Cycling Center Academy, we're going to tell you what, when, and how to eat before setting out for your training ride. Cycling is an endurance sport, which requires a huge energy supply. For that reason, riders need to gain enough required energy before they start performing. Glycogen is the main energy source here. Your body gains it from food, and it's stored in muscles and in the liver. So, prior to your sport activity, you should receive enough glycogen supplies as the intensive work of your legs and heart requires you to spend a rather large amount of energy. There are three main macro substances which are very closely connected together. Carbohydrates and lipids present the main source of energy. The third one is the proteins, which are the building substance. Our body uses proteins only as an emergency source of energy. The ideal nutritional ratio for an athlete should be 50% carbohydrates, 30% lipids, and 20% proteins. Carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are the main source of energy. One gram of carbohydrates includes four calories. The main disadvantage is that they have half of the energy value of lipids. They are not stored up easily in the body, and in case of surplus consumption, they turn into body fat. Carbohydrates are divided into two types. Simple carbohydrates called monosaccharides, and complex carbohydrates known as polysaccharides. Simple carbohydrates are those with a sweet taste, and when riding your bike, they are welcome after very intensive and energetically demanding exercise. On the other hand, complex carbohydrates provide a gradual supply of energy and keep the blood sugar level stable. Complex carbohydrates are usually the basic building unit we need for our physical performance. Fiber, which the human body is not able to process completely, also falls into the category of carbohydrates. In case you want to lose weight, you should eat food with high volume of fiber. In this way, you reduce the fluctuation of sugar in the blood. Your diet should include carbohydrates mainly within the first half of the day. In the afternoon, the consumption of carbohydrates, including fruit, should be reduced, and you should focus more on food with lower glycemic index, such as oats, wholemeal bread, wholemeal pasta, or legumes. Also avoid industrially produced sweets. Proteins. Proteins are the basic building component of all living organisms, therefore, of the human body as well. They are the building material of our muscles, but they also act as a source of energy. In cycling, this happens especially during long rides. Proteins can be gained from both plant and animal resources. Meat is the best source. There are many other types of plant products which also include proteins, but these aren't usually so complex, and they are harder to digest. Dairy products and eggs include good quality proteins. The best approach is to combine all such accessible sources. In case you want to stabilize your weight, you should consume one gram of protein for one kilogram of your body weight. If you want to build your muscle mass, it's recommended to consume from one and a half to two grams for one kilogram of your body weight. An excessive amount of proteins can be even dangerous for your body as their degradation burdens the kidneys. They cannot be stored in the body, and that's why it's very important to supplement them. Protein should cover about 20% of your menu. You should include them in all the main meals throughout the day. For breakfast, combine wholemeal bread with ham or oats with yogurt. For lunch, you can have rice with soya meat, steak with carrots or fish. In the evening, you should reduce side orders and focus more on proteins which are harder to digest, such as cheese or cottage cheese. A varied and balanced diet is the foundation of good eating habits. Lipids. Lipids are the most problematic component of a diet. One gram contains a double amount of energy than do carbohydrates or proteins. They should form about 30% of your daily energy income. Lipids play a very important part of our diet as they contain fatty acids which the body is not able to produce by itself. However, they are crucial for good health. Such lipids can be found in sea fish, seaweed, linseed, or hazelnuts. Some vitamins, such as A, D, E, and K, are soluble in lipids only. Therefore, if the body lacks lipids, there is also a lack of these vitamins, and this can also result in some serious health complications. A too high income of lipids results in being overweight and obese. Lipids can be gained from both plant and animal resources. In general, plant lipids are healthier, but it's not a good idea to cut out the animal lipids totally. 
For example, lard is much more suitable for frying than sunflower or rape oil as it can stand much higher temperatures. Go for real butter with bread as well. Lipids are also combined with easy, simple carbohydrates. Such a combination is not beneficial for your figure. This especially includes various biscuits, chocolates, and sweets. On the other hand, healthy lipids are very good for your organism. You should add some seeds and nuts into your yogurt in the morning. Have salmon for lunch and a vegetable salad for dinner. In case you don't eat fish and you are allergic to nuts, then you should invest in fat acid supplements. Lipids are essential for a cyclist. A well-trained athlete is able to cover up to 90% of his energy expenditure from lipids. This is actually enough for any sport endurance activity. In our next episode of Mallorca Cycling Center Academy, we will talk about how to include fruit, vitamins, and minerals into your diet. You have been guided through this episode by our professional trainer, Wojciech Beran, MA. Would you like to make the most of your cycling? Do not hesitate and join our team in Mallorca. Mallorca Cycling Center, the International Bicycle Rental of BMC and Colnego Bikes. International training cycling camps for all age and performance groups, experienced and certified trainers, guides, mechanics, physiotherapists, and masseurs. Do you want to train in Mallorca? Then come with MallorcaCyclingCenter.com. Join us and make the most of your cycling in Mallorca. Bookings on MallorcaCyclingCenter.com.